Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are making this gorgeous daisy granny square. This granny square is made all in one piece, so it is a real granny square. It also has a nice 3D center, so it sticks up just like a daisy does in real life. These are the easiest petals to do. It is such a fun granny square. So if you are looking for a variety of flower granny squares, go ahead and check out my playlist for the Bloomscape Cal. That is 12 different flower centers that you can make into the same block. Just like this one here. And yes, if you'd like to follow along with a written pattern, they're available over on my website, secretyarnery.com. And you don't have to worry about being able to read a pattern. All of my patterns are written in plain English, just like I was sitting there right beside you. To make the Daisy Granny Square, you will need four different colors of yarn. So one for your center, your petals, the leaves underneath, and of course your block. I am using Favorite from Ice Yarns for mine, but you can use any four weight worsted yarn. You can of course make this granny square in any yarn that you have at home. It doesn't even have to be these colors. For my yarn, I am using a five millimeter crochet hook, but you can use whatever hook size goes along with the yarn you are using. You will also need a pair of scissors and a needle for sewing in your ends. <laughs> so let's get started. start by making a magic ring. So just lay your tail over your non-dominant hand and hold it down on your ring finger with your thumb. Wrap your yarn around your two fingers making an X and bring it around three fingers just holding it underneath your thumb as well. Flip your hand over, you'll have two strands, a short one and a long one. Grab your crochet hook, slide it underneath the short strand, grabbing the long strand bringing it under and point the hook towards yourself. Slowly releasing your thumb a little bit, turn your hook to point away from you and grabbing that long strand. Now you can take your index finger and thumb and just pinch that loop on your hook and drag the yarn through that loop. So there is your magic ring and chain two. One and two. Now we're gonna go around our ring, making 23 double crochets. We wanna make sure we're going over our tail. Now our chain counts as our first double crochet, so we're gonna be making 22 double crochets into our ring. So 22 double crochets. There's one, two, so you can pause the video and just keep working along. 22 double crochets, making sure that you go over your tail. And if your tail gets really short, just give it a little bit of a pull so that you have some extra tail. So pause the video and keep working along. I'll see you when you have made 22 double crochets, 23 counting your chain. Are you enjoying this tutorial? Go ahead and hit this button under this video right now so you don't miss out on any more quick and easy fun tutorials just like this. So when you have your 23 double crochets, including your chain, pull your tail. We don't have to shrink it completely shut. We'll do that later. You can do it now if you feel like it. So shrink it shut just a little bit. You don't have to pull it too hard. And now we're gonna slip stitch into the top of that chain two to join. So there is our first real double crochet right there. We're gonna go into the top of that chain which is sitting right beside, and we want two strands of that chain on the top of our hook. So just slide your hook in, two strands on the top of your hook, and slip stitch to join, and chain one. Just like that. Now into our next stitch, which is this little guy laying down, so that loop is hanging a little in front not really connected like a perfect V. That is our first stitch right there. So we're gonna go into that stitch making one single crochet. And one single crochet into the next stitch. Into the next two stitches, we're gonna do our two single crochets together or our SC two tog. So into the first stitch, we're gonna start our single crochet but leave it on our hook. 
We're going to start a single crochet into the next stitch, but leave it on our hook. Wrap and take off all three loops. Into the next two stitches, one single crochet into each. One and two. And into the next two stitches, a decrease. So we're going to start a single crochet into the first stitch, start a single crochet into the second stitch, wrap and take off all three loops. Just like that. So into the next two stitches, one single crochet into each. And you can pause the video if I'm going too fast. You can also adjust me in the speed. Just hit that gear on the video and slow me down or speed me up. Into the next two stitches, we're going to do a decrease. So it's single crochet to tog. So start your single crochet into the first stitch and start a single crochet into the second stitch. Wrap your yarn and take off all three loops, just like that. And into the next two stitches, one single crochet into each. One and two. So we're just working our way around doing two single crochets by themselves, two single crochets together all the way around. So into the next two stitches, single crochet into each, wrap and take off all three loops, and into the next two stitches, one single crochet into each. One and two. So we have four stitches left. We're going to do a decrease into all of these stitches. So into the first two, we're going to make a decrease. So start one single crochet into each stitch, wrap and take off all your loops. And we're going to do that again into those last two stitches. So starting one and starting two, wrapping and taking off all three loops. Just like that. So we made this cute little dish. And now we're going to slip stitch to the top of that first stitch to join, that little guy right there. So into that first real stitch, we're going to slip stitch to join. Slip stitch and chain one. Now we're going to make our first stitch right here into this next stitch right there. So not where we joined, but into the next stitch, one single crochet and one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. If you are not going to see where we joined, go ahead and pop a stitch marker just into that first stitch that we made. Right there, you can just pop a stitch marker in if you're not going to see where that is. So one single crochet into each stitch all the way around, and I'll meet you when you get back to where we started. When you get back to where we started, just make sure you have 16 stitches. So the first one is where we put our stitch marker if you used one. So just make sure you can roll your work up. Just count those pretty little V's. So there is one, two, three. We want 16. So I have 16. We are ready to keep going. So we're just going to slip stitch right into that first stitch, right where the stitch marker was. Just one little slip stitch. and chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through, and snug that down to secure. Now our tail, this is when we can pull it really nice and shut. You don't want to break your yarn, but you definitely want it nice and snug. You want to close up that hole as best you can. And then thread your needle. I like a sharp tip needle. These are linked down below. They are a game changer for securing your tails. So my yarn is coming in this direction. I'm going to keep going in that direction. So I'm going to go around underneath the fat part of those stitches. Go forward a couple times. Just like that. And then go back a couple times and your tail will be really secure, especially with a sharp tip needle. And then cut off your tail. So now pop your center well, inside it out like that. There is our cute little dome, the center of our daisy. And now we're ready to start the petals. <music> to 
to start the pedals, roll your little hat to the side. So look for where your join is. There is our stitch right at the join. We're gonna go into the front loop, the second front loop after the join, right there. So pop your hook in, just like that. Loop of yarn on your hook. Bring it through, slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail, just hold it inside your little hat, and chain 13. One, two, three, and 13. So there is our tail. Now we're gonna go in to the next stitch. So now we're gonna go in to this front loop, right there. We're working into each front loop for this round. So into the next front loop only. Just slide your hook under that next front loop. So only one strand of that loop on your hook. And slip stitch. And chain 14. One, two, three, four, five, 11, 12, 13, 14. So there is my 14. Into the next front loop, that next stitch, just the front loop only. Just right there slip stitch to finish that petal and chain 14 again. Slip stitch into that next front loop like that and chain 14 again and slip stitch into the next front loop. So you can pause the video and keep working around. We're just making these chain 14s and slip stitching into the front loop only of the next stitch all the way around. So I will meet you when we get back closer to our join. When you get back to your join where that tail is, I like to work into that stitch right before the, that tail, this little loop right at the front. It just helps your petals look like they're spaced out correctly or evenly. So into that front loop right by our tail, slip stitch and chain 14. Now our next petal, we're gonna put it down right into this little tiny loop. This front loop right here. Just around that join, we wanna be putting them into every spot we can, just so it makes our daisy look nice and evened out. So into this front loop, basically the join gets extra petals. Slip stitch, chain 14, into the next front loop, we're gonna do our slip stitch and chain 14 again. We're gonna end in the very same front loop that we began. So chain 14, and we're gonna slip stitch into that same front loop, right where we began, just beside that first chain we made. So slip stitch to join, chain one, now flip all of your petals forward. We wanna be looking for our back loops for the next round. So looking at the back of your work, you can see these little back loops all waiting for us along the edge. Get your tail behind you and just pop your hook in to that same stitch but the back loop of it and slip stitch to start the next round. And chain one. So that counts as our first single crochet. Fold all your petals forward, it does give them a little pinch, and you'll be able to see your front or your back loops right here, just waiting for us, all laying along that edge. So we're gonna do one single crochet into each, just to keep our little hat in shape. So one single crochet into each back loop, just folding your petals down, going nice and slow, making sure you get into each back loop. 
you should have a total of 16 single crochets at the end of this round. So just pause the video and keep working around one single crochet into each back loop, and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. When you get back to your join, just count to make sure you have 16 single crochets. Just counting those pretty little Vs. I only have 15, so I'm gonna put my last one, number 16, right into that back loop after the join. As long as you have 16, that is great. And then just slip stitch into that first stitch to join. One slip stitch, chain one, and into the same stitch, but just the front loop right here, we're gonna do two half double crochets. So wrap your yarn and into the front loop only of the same stitch, one half double crochet and one more half double crochet. So we're gonna do two half double crochets into each front loop all the way along, just grabbing that front loop only. So wrap your yarn, slide the next front loop onto your hook, two half double crochets. Slide the next front loop on your hook, two half double crochets. And just keep doing that all the way around. It's harder in the beginning, it gets easier. The front loops get bigger as you go around. In the beginning right here, it's a bit tricky, so don't feel too upset by it. It's hard for everybody. And then it gets a lot easier from around here. So just slide those front loops onto your hook, two half double crochets into each. Just take your time, we want a total of 32 dub half double crochets for this round. So pause the video, keep working around, and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. When you get back to where we started, our last front loop is right here. So that's our last two half double crochets. Just like that. Now go ahead and count your stitches. We wanna have 32. So you can just count in your pairs. So there's two, four, six, eight, count all the way around, you want 32 stitches for this round. And you can always just adjust it, putting in another stitch or taking a stitch out. No one is ever gonna see this, it doesn't matter a bit. So don't worry, just fix it right now at this join here. 32 half double crochets. And we're gonna slip stitch to the top of that first half double crochet to join. So slip stitch to join, and chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. To start the leaves, just flip over your flower. Well, don't flip it over, I guess flip your petals over. We wanna be working in to the front of these half double crochets. If you wanna be fancy, we're gonna skip eight stitches ahead and work into the ninth, counting our join as our first stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Number nine is right there. So skipping eight, including our join. That just means our corner is gonna be where, our, where we joined our yarn. We can work over it a little bit extra. So loop of your leaf color on your hook bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail, just holding it along the side of your work, and chain two. One and two. This counts as our first double crochet. Wrap your yarn and into the same stitch, one more double crochet. Chain two. One and two. Skipping two stitches and into the third, right there, one single crochet. Chain two, skipping one, and into the second, one single crochet. Chaining two, skipping two, 
and into that stitch where our join is. We can work over our tail, so just bring your tail forward, wrap your yarn, and into that stitch, we're going to do a corner. So two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets with a chain two. That's going to be our corner. So two double crochets, chain two, two more double crochets, one and two, chain two, one and two, skipping two. So we're not counting this stitch right here. That does not count as a stitch because it's where we joined. So it kind of looks like we're skipping three, but we're just skipping these first or these next two stitches and working in to the third right over there. So pop your hook in, one single crochet chain two, skipping one, and into the second, one single crochet, chaining two, skipping two, and into the third. We're going to do a corner. So two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, and a chain two. So there's my first two double crochets, my chain two, two more double crochets, chain two, skipping two and into the third, one single crochet, chaining two, skipping one and into the second, one single crochet, chaining two, skipping two, and into the third, a corner. Corners, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, chain two. So there's my first two double crochets, chain two, two more double crochets, chain two, skipping two, and into the third, one single crochet, chain two, skipping one, and into the second, one single crochet, chaining two, and now into that spot where we began, we're going to finish our corner. So into the same stitch, two double crochets, one and two, and chain two. So we're going to slip stitch into the top of this chain three to join. Just pop your hook in and slip stitch and chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. And that finishes our leaves. To start out the granny square, find the corner that you just joined in. We don't want to join in that corner. I usually just pick the corner before and just pop your hook in. Loop of your block color or whatever you're using for your granny square on your hook. Bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail just holding it along the edge of your work and chain two. One and two into the same corner space, two double crochets, one and two, and into the next space, three double crochets, one, two, and three, and into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three, and into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. 
Now we're at our corner, so I'm just going to bring my tail forward so I can work over it with my next set of stitches, just like that. And now into that corner space, I'm going to do a corner. Corners, three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. So there's one, two, and three, chain two, and three more double crochets into that same corner space. One, two, and three. So there's our corner. Into each space along this side, three double crochets into each. So sides always have three double crochets into each space. There's three, into the next space, three double crochets, one, two, and three, and into the next space, three double crochets, one, two, and three. Now into our corner, the same corner again, so three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, and three double crochets into that same space. One, two, and three, just like that. So you can pause the video and keep working along. Sides, three double crochets into each space, and corners, three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. All the way around, I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. When you get back to the corner where we began, three double crochets into that same corner space, you can slide your stitches forward if you need some more room. We want all of our stitches to be laying down nice and flat. There's two and three. And now I'm gonna show you two different ways to join. The first is how to join and continue. If you're gonna join and continue with the same color yarn, we're gonna join with a chain, so a chain one, and into the top of that chain three, just the top of that chain three, one single crochet to join. And that leaves us right in the middle of our corner, so we can hide our join. So we would do a chain three, and turn your work. If you're doing the Bloomscape Cal, you'll just single crochet straight over, into that next space, or turning it into an English uh, garden granny square. If you're doing a regular granny square, you'll do your two double crochets into that same corner space, just like that, and then pop a stitch marker into that space, just so when you're working along, you don't lose that corner. It can look like a side space instead of a corner space, so if you're new, pop a stitch marker into that corner spot. Now when you are finished with that color or your granny square is the size you want it to be, we are gonna join with a chain two, one, two, and slip stitch into the top of that chain three to join. So slip stitch to join and chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. Sew in your tails, and you're finished. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. I'm waiting for you in that video right there, and stay hooked.